Okay, see that painter pole out there? <laughs> uh, see the speaker wire connected to the top of it? I want to show a little something here. Let's follow the wire, follow the wire. And it ends. And I'm going to pause this and set this down and we'll carry forth. Okay. Uh, this is my little FT-12043 tiny Unan. Unan. Where'd that come from? Unan. And um, what I want to show is just a little SWR demo. Uh, again, answering the question why multi-tap. And um, if I'm going to buy one, then I'll buy whatever works, I guess, uh, as a system. But if I'm going to build one, if I'm going to wind one... Um, so what we have here... <laughs> I don't need to go over all that again. 4 to 1, 9 to 1, 16 to 1. It crosses over back when I used to do that. This is at 36 to 1, 49. So there's my 49 to 1 tap I'm connected to. Continuing on, this is a 64 to 1 tap and an 81 to 1 tap. So I'll show you something. With my, that wire, by the way, is exactly 63 feet long, zero inches, plus the length of the alligator clip, right? Um, so I want to show you something connected to the 49 to 1 tap. I'm going to resituate things. Okay, so this is on uh, the 20 meter band, obviously. We're using the 40 meter end fed half wave on 20 meters. I'm going to slide over. Let's look at the standing wave ratio. Boy, I wish this phone could record that screen better. Um, when I put my hand in front of things, that's what messes it up. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to keep my hand out of the view. See if there's anyone trans uh, using the frequency. No, I don't think so. And by the way, we're on, uh, um, well, what was I going to say? Oh, anyway, screw that. So let's look at the standing wave ratio connected to the 49 to 1 tap. Let's call it 1.9 to 1. You know, over and over and over again, man, I watch videos, you know, and people, people are, their attitude is, whoa, cool. My tuner will take the hair that easy. No problem there. And, and it will. And let's say they're running 25 feet of coax to their, uh, to their on and, and, you know, their antenna. On 20 meters, the losses aren't terrible. You know, is it going to work? Hell yeah, it'll work. Probably work good, too. But this will work even better. Hang on, I'm going to pause you. Okay. Things are going to get a little bit uh, messy here, so we're going to go from the 49 to 1 tap. Let's try, I think it was the 16 to 1 tap that I liked. 4, 9, 16 to 1. I'm going to pause you. Let's see, like I repositioned my phone here and uh, I decided to tap on the uh, phone screen on the um little SWR display area to try to make it focus there a little better and the colors completely changed it's weird this is not the camera to use if you're going to do any kind of serious YouTube and crap but regardless let's see if the frequency is still clear you okay <clears throat> so on the 49 to 1 tap, we had our little, um, yay, it's tunable moment. I've changed to the 16 to 1 tap, as you saw. Let's check the standing wave ratio. One point one five to one point two to 1. No tuner needed, internal or external. Your feed line run to the unun. 
way out there. SWR 1.15, 1 1.2 to 1. Uh, minimal, as minimal, minimal as they can possibly get. I just don't see why <laughs> people resist adding a an a extra tap or two to their unun. Anyway. <sighs> 73. Final thought on this subject. Sorry to get shaky there. A little worried, man. I've been sitting here in the laundry room doing my unun testing for the last year. You know? Uh, we own the home. My son and I own the home. No mortgage, anything. I have no problem drilling a little hole for an eye hook there, right? I have no problem using painter's tape on the walls. Not even painter's tape. It's dollar store masking tape uh, that turns to dust after a year or two. What's up with that? The hell? What am I? I'm not going to burn the house down. Why was I using a flame? And why did the flame lick itself up the windowsill? <laughs> That's crazy.